now see <coughs> i want to show you that is the presentation the presentation is related to particularly when you have prepared the document that microsoft word you have prepared the charts in microsoft excel now we want to present this thing in front of some audience it may be teachers it may be in other forum then you will need this presentation that is the presentation software and uh, i'll show you that is the how you can prepare the presentation with the help of microsoft powerpoint presentation now here actually what is the basic thing is that at home you will find that is the slides so you see new slides you press control m that new slides will appear and uh, if you click on this then also new slide will appear now i have change the layout so you see this is the layout one type of layout now another layout you can see over here you can click in new slides so you will find different sort of layouts which are given that is the this is the pre formatted layouts and another one is blank so you can go for blank presentation if you want to design according to your need so i actually prefer this that is that this is the one kind of slide so it looks like this that is the title and subtitle so then another type of layout is that this is the title and text so in this way several types of layouts are there you can choose any one of this now here you see in this layout you can insert table you can insert chart you can insert smart graph you can insert pictures you can insert video so all these are there now you see that is the to make it more presentable more attractive that is the main idea to design the presentation so what you do generally first thing is that the you can do it that is the section wise that first this is the you see layout in uh, this is the for the title so this you can make it yellow let's say suppose and this actually content for content you can make it that is the this light orange and you can change the color of your presentation now here you will see that is if i press that is the undo that is control z or at the top you can press this one as well that is the undo slide layout you can change you see that is the over here that in case of view we go to the home you see this is the way that is the you can design it now let's suppose you want to design it that is the, the what we i want to show you that is that you want to change the background format instead of this you want to change the background format so you can go for solid fill that here actually color you can choose any color so it will be looking like this you can go for gradient fill you can actually insert picture so from here actually you see you can insert picture from a file what you want to give you can go for pattern fill you can so any pattern you can choose from here so this is the way the background also can be changed and transparency level actually you can change also the transparency level right so we come to that that is the automatic so this is the way and then this are the pre formatted one or pre designed one so you can choose any one of this that is 
it will look like this it will change accordingly so lots of options are there and these themes you can choose another thing is then that is that you can increase the you see slide size so custom slide size by applying it you can increase it or you can decrease it now next is that you see i have one slide that already i have prepared now there are different types of view you see normal view outline view slide shorter note pages reading view so this is called the presentation views so this is normal now outline view if i click on this it will look like this right if it is if i click on this that is the slide shorter it will be like this that is the slide shorter so how many slides i have five slides so it will be shown in this way so these are the stars which are being shown over here these stars are nothing but the this is the animation which i have added this is the representing the animation now you can change the order let's suppose that that you can interchange it that is the instead of two it will go after three and three will come before two so you can change it so you see order will change in this way right now you can see it and you can actually zoom it in this way and uh, if you want to change let's suppose you have 50 slides 60 slides it is very difficult to go one to one slide so it is the very usable thing that is that you choose the slide shorter and by that you can choose let's suppose here what here i want to change you here that is the slide five so i have double clicked it now you see this is the thing and uh, here if you want to change something then automatically you can change over here so this is the you see that is the slide shorter view then note pages view so this is the note pages you can add any text over here this is the reading view you can read this slide over here so you see that is the way you can change it right now from actually if you want to come out from here you have to press the escape now come to the normal view that what i have seen so these are the different sort of views presentation views now if you want to prepare one slide so this is the slide and uh, i want to prepare one slide that is let's say, suppose that is that this is the theme i have chosen and i want to prepare one slide now come to the home and here actually you see you can change the font you can insert shapes from here you can align text so you can change the text color all these options are there so here actually i have as i have prepared so i am showing you from here that is let's suppose this is the slide so here you see that is after coming home so you see you can add this is the transition so how the slide will change so the slide will change in this way that is the first one you see this is the one way of transition then you can see this is the one way so you can put the transition effect over here and uh, with sound without sound on mouse click without mouse click after you can set the time now if you want to add the animation you have to come over here and you have to add animation from here as i have already added so i am showing you that is on a separate slide let us suppose this is the slide i am copying from here and this so you see 
this is the way I have copied over here. Now I want to make it that is it will be middle. So I middled it and then I want to add animation. So you see lots of animations are there and these animations are divided into different groups. So you see what are the animation over here you see entrance, emphasis, then exit, then motion path. So these are the four types of animations are there. So for entrance if I click on this it will appear like this. Right. Then if I want to make it that over here I want to add animation then it will bounce. So if I make it in this way this will you see come in this way. So this is how you can actually add the animation over here one by one. And uh, this is the entrance animation like that you can add the exit animation you can emphasize this thing or you can you see fix the motion path. Now in case of drawing actually you see if I choose the first slide if you want to draw something then you can choose this pens to draw the slide. Now if you want to actually insert you see that is the shapes over here if you want to insert table so you can add table you can if, if you want to insert shapes so lots of shapes are there these shapes you can insert let's suppose you want to insert shapes over here so that shapes will come so this is by default green and uh, if you want to make it white so it will be white and you can add separate animation to it and if you want to write something you just write over here and you can highlight this particular text and you can change the text by going home that is the text color if you want to change so you can change in this way and the effects actually shape effect is that the it is the how you can show it that is that this is the outer effect this is you will see it will change automatically so this shape effect will add more flavors to your slide show so this is in very uh, actually very uh, this is the in uh, i should say that this is the very easier way to prepare a slide so for this actually i want to say you that is the what i have discussed regarding this Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint. If you do it continuously and if you do it, we practice it regularly, then you will explore lots of things you can do with it. And one thing I want to share with you, if you know Excel well, you can do anything, uh, anything, uh, anything that is the whatever you want to do so excel is the beautiful thing that is why actually the name has been given that is the for my knowledge goals that is the excel so you can excel in your life as well so thank you with this i end my presentation